everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a homeschool show and tell. The homeschool show and tell is an open collaboration hosted by Abby from Rooted and Rest and myself. We bring homeschoolers together from around the world each and every month to share their personal take on a specific topic. And this month's topic is holiday homeschooling. So I am actually going to be sharing a Christmas school day in the life. Now, if you are just joining us, you might not know this. We are a homeschool family of an only child. Emily is at the time of this filming 11 years old and for all intensive purposes in sixth grade. We have been Christmas schooling for as long as I can remember since she was in preschool. We take the entire month of December off to just enjoy all things Christmas. So that is what you are going to be seeing today and coming along with us. We're gonna have a Christmas morning time, do a little bit of Christmas schooling, and then we're gonna get a lot of Christmas baking done because Emily actually is hosting her first ever um, party tomorrow. She's done all of the work for it, and she's having some friends over to an ornament decorating party. So we're gonna be baking a lot of cookies and getting some of the food trays ready and just all of that because they will be here all day tomorrow, and she's so excited about that. So that is kind of what today's gonna look like, at least that's what it's planned to look like, but come along and let's see what actually happens. It is like 1.45 and at this point in the day, Kevin and I have gotten our workout in. Emily has watched her current event news independently. She's using World Watch for that currently. Um, we've done our basket time together. We have done some of our novel unit study of A Christmas Carol. Um, Kevin is running errands this morning. Hopefully he will be home soon. He was supposed to bring lunch, but Emily is starving. So I'm gonna go ahead and make her lunch before he gets here because I don't want her to like, you know, eat my arm off or anything, which is probably what's gonna happen soon. And while she eats lunch, she's going to watch some of the videos from the Christmas Carol novel unit study that are all about the Victorian era for kids. So she will be watching those while she eats. And then while I have lunch, I'm actually gonna be reading Mr. Dickens and his Carol on my Kindle. It happened to be included in Kindle Unlimited, which is great because that means it's free for me. Um, and I think it's kind of cool for us each to be reading from A Christmas Carol and kind of our versions about Charles Dickens. So she's reading, what are you reading? Um, the Who Was Charles Dickens and The Christmas Carol. And I'm reading those aloud, so I'm reading those too. But then I'm also reading Mr. Dickens and his Carol. So that way I can kind of paraphrase some of the things that I've gotten out of that for her and decide if I think it's appropriate for her to read next year. So this is kind of like our Christmas Carol Christmas year, right? Yeah. So we will be reading all of those. Um, are we watching one of the Christmas Carols this weekend? Yeah. Which one are we going to watch? The Muppets one. So we're watching the Muppets one first. And then next week, right? Next week? Yeah. 
we're going to see a Christmas Carol play. So that will be super exciting. And if everything goes according to plan, what are we planning to do on Christmas Eve? Do you remember? No. <laughs> we're hoping to have a Christmas Carol feast. So I don't know if we're going to have a duck, but maybe, or a goose, but I don't know, some sort of poultry bird and bake some of the recipes from the Victorian era and just kind of have a whole Christmas Carol, Victorian, England, 19th century Christmas Eve feast. Is that making you hungrier? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go make her lunch now. So after spending the afternoon playing some Christmas games and baking dozens and dozens of cookies, we are pretty much done with our Christmas school day. Um, we will still uh, have dinner here shortly and then we play trivia with dinner. We've been doing that for the past six or seven months. It is one of the few times that all of us are together um, undistracted. It doesn't happen often anymore, not now that we're raising a tween. It feels like we're all going in different directions all the time. And so playing some sort of trivia or also we really like guess and 10 during dinner is just kind of a surefire way to make sure that we're connecting with each other. So during the Christmas season, we have been playing this You'll Never Guess Ultimate Christmas Trivia Game. It is just a simple um, question and answer Basically, there's the question, there's the answer. There are some bonus cards that have two questions on it. We don't play the way the rules say to play because you need four people and obviously there's only three of us. So we play it the way we would play like a professor noggin. Basically, we go around the dinner table and we ask the question and like if Emily's asking and Kevin or I get it first, we get the card. And then like I'll ask her and Kevin one and we just keep taking turns and whoever has the most cards at the end of the night wins. These cards, these trivia questions are kind of a range of different things. Uh, historical, geographical, uh, some are based off of Christmas music or movies. I just grabbed this random one that says, what did the other reindeer not let Rudolph do because of his shiny red nose? And it would be join in on any reindeer game. So that's based off of the song. Um, and so that's something that we do at dinner time. And then probably, and I say probably because it has already been kind of a long day. It's a Monday. Who knows what's actually going to happen? But more than likely, um, after we have cleaned the kitchen and we all have our showers and we're ready for bed, we will watch a Christmas movie. And I believe we are working our way through the Santa Clauses right now. We finished Santa Claus 1 a few days ago. And so it's probably time for us to watch the Santa Claus 2. 
um, or we will watch the Santa Claus season two on Disney plus we watched season one last year. So we've been looking forward to watching season two, which we haven't started yet, but that is pretty much it. That's our Christmas school day in the life today. Each day looks just a little bit different. Obviously we don't normally bake six to seven dozens of cookies, but again, Emily has that party that we're planning for tomorrow. Um, and we will still have to wrap her gifts for the gift exchange as well. But other than that, that is pretty much it. That's our Christmas school day in the life. 